Welcome to 701 Scott Street. This is an Alamo Square historic 9 to 12 bedroom mansion that's available for lease for the first time in its history. There's a beautiful entry here with etched glass windows. It's very ornate. It's an Edwardian mansion that has some great Victorian touches. Hi, Bill. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to my house. I'm here with Rebecca, the current owner's eldest daughter, who's going to tell us about the common rooms of the mansion. So, you've just come into our main entrance. This is a, a parlor with a grand staircase leading upstairs to the main floors. Down there, back in the wall back there, there's a little parlor bathroom, half bath. This is one of five fireplaces that you're looking at. It's original to the house. The sconces are original. We've just restored them a little bit, played with them. And then we have some flash glass back there with some etched lead. They've just been restored as well. We redid some lead in some of the pieces. And has high beam, high ceilings with beam ceilings on it, which I love taking advantage of the high ceilings. Leads to the half bath. We just upgraded our this little bath just to And this leads into our dining room. The dining room, there's a beautiful table that can sit 12 to 16 people. It has a beautiful um, brass. It used to be a candelabra, and it used to be gas, and now it's um, electrical. And it matches, uh, complements the wall sconces with the built-in china cabinet. It's custom made in delicate carved wood. Also has beam ceilings in here. Another fireplace, all brick, an iron in it. Lots of light, and now we're going into towards the living room which has large windows to design to take advantage of the Alamo, Alamo Park view. We have a baby grand piano and up uh, you can see the stained glass, it's Fleur de Lis stained glass. And on the opposite end we have a fireplace, a copper fireplace with a Fleur de Lis. The sconces have been uh, restored to now be electrical, but it used to be gas as well. The copper hood. And then we also have um, a beautiful, elegant chandelier. This leads also now to outside grand staircase and then we're going towards the servants quarters this used to be the servants quarters leading up to the third floor servants servants rooms has original wainscoting we kept it and we just uh, did a little bit of upgrading on it has two rooms here, a pantry and a broom closet. We're going into the kitchen. The kitchen has been restored and upgraded a little bit. The hood is original to the house. And to the side of it we have a pantry that is, uh, we've kept it as original as we could. It has the marble so the food can be kept cold if you need to be kept cold in here. Um, it has a stained glass in the back. The vents are still in place. 
so that you can keep the food cold in here. We have a neat brand new refrigerator, two door refrigerator. It has an island with a sink in the middle. Great for parties, great for catering. And this um, this kitchen is, is dear to our heart because my father um, decided to take up stained glass and built some stained glass to complement the ha whole house and the stained glass that's up in the grand staircase. And bring out the, the colors of the afternoon sun. It also has an oven and a microwave. And then we're going into the breakfast parlor. It's a full-size breakfast parlor with another fireplace and a brass, brass fireplace as well. Lots of light in the house. Now we're heading up towards the grand staircase. This stained glass is original to the house, so it's uh, stained glass from 1902. And then we have a crystal chandelier right at the top of the staircase, and this is the main floor where all the bedrooms. The main bedrooms would be for the family that made the house. And this is our library. We used to use it as a library. My father was a firm believer in reading and educating yourself as much as possible. So we had wall-to-wall -wall books in here. But it can be used as um, a bedroom with a fireplace. And you can take advantage of looking, overlooking the park. The sconces are original to the house, as is the lighting fixture in the middle of the room, which complements the sconces. We're going to do another video for all the bedrooms. If you're interested in 701 Scott Street, visit www.billharkins.com or call 415-305-5311 and there'll be a second video to take you through the two levels of bedrooms of the mansion. Thank you.